Okay, now, in order to animate a sprite or an object, really think in terms of animating an object, have one object and as many animated sprites as you want. Your object can actually change. So let's use this left key press, for example. This left key press, we can go on main one, and we can actually change the sprite. So when we're holding the left key down, we want our sprite to change. See how that works? Okay, but let's start by gathering our sprites. So we're going to create a sprite, start with SPR, and then whatever animated sprite you're going to do, so like in this case, it's the hero who's animated, and let's do SPR hero left. We want our animated sprite name to match the animated sprite. So that's why I put SPR underscore hero underscore left. I'm going to load the sprite. Scroll down. Oh, here he is. Explore left. There it is right there. Double click it. Now, I should point out right now the width and height are 32. So we need to edit our sprites. So I click on transform again. I click on scale. Percentage is 80%. Make sure apply to all images is checked. Click OK. They're all smaller. Then on transform, you can click on resize canvas and change the new size to 80%, keeping the aspect ratio. Make sure that was checked before you changed it or make sure they're both at 80%. Click OK. Now the sprite works. I can click on show preview and I can watch him animated on that screen there. I check it. And now I have my hero sprite left. Now I'm going to pause the video while I finish gathering my other animated sprites. I should point out, guys, there is an explorer climb where his, his arms are going up and down as his legs are going up and down. And there's an explorer up where his hands are just kind of down at his side, swinging back and forth. That's the one we want to use for when he walks up. And I just loaded the wrong sprite. Don't. Don't forget to add your new sprite before you load the new sprite. Usually works that way. SBR underscore hero up. And find it. And move on. Okay, now I'm going to pause it again. All right, guys. Hey, one more thing you may wish to do. Can you imagine if you're going to animate lots of sprites and they're going to change animations and things, you may get to the point where you have so many sprites they're difficult to deal with. For that reason, you may wish to create a group of sprites. So I'm going to create a group, and it's my hero group. And I click OK, and I'm going to move all of my hero-related sprites to that group. And I probably should have done that group before I created them all, but there we go. I can close it and open it so I can organize my materials. You should try to organize. It's almost as handy as reading. Almost. So there's my animated sprites. I have all of them. Now comes the fun. Now, I should point out, guys, we have eight sub-images for each of our animated heroes. Except for Sprite Hero, he only has... Uh-oh. Oh, he got animated. Well, there's a couple ways we can get out of it. I can delete those sprites, or I can watch this. Will you watch this? We'll, we'll fix it the other way. I'm going to go back to my hero. Now, if there's no key being pressed. Remember, he's not moving. So watch what I do. I'm going to, on my sprite, um, I don't even have to, well, I'm going to change the sprite, and you got to change the sprite on no key, or else that sprite may be in whatever position he was in, like he was going up or down. If we want our hero to face us, we can choose hero, sprite hero, sub image zero. That means that's our first image. So that means it won't animate as long as sub image is set to zero. It's just going to keep it at zero. So let's see if that works, first of all. Well, 
there's it's hard to test if it's working or not because look he's really not going anywhere he's not animated in the first place I'll move that up a little bit so let's do this we're going to choose left we're going to grab the sprite we're going to choose our hero left now, guys, this is the most important part for you all to understand. On sub-image, we can give it a hard-coded value like 0, 1, or 2, or 3. The problem is we want that image to keep cycling through. We can't use one number because it will keep setting it to the same number. So what we need is we need a variable that will do the job for us. It's called image underscore index. Image index, all lowercase letters. Guys, this is a variable that represents wherever it needs to be. So if we do a speed of one, what's going to happen is with every cycle, it's going to add one to the image index. At the beginning, image index is equal to zero. After one cycle, because speed is set at one, it then goes to image, sub-image, one. Next cycle, it'll be sub-image, two. There are eight sub-images in all, and it started at zero. So once it's at sub-image seven, when we add one to it, it actually resets to zero. And then to one, then two, then three. This is what allows it to animate. Image index, speed of one. If you want it to cycle through faster, I think, I think you can add a speed of two. Now, I'm not entirely sure the best way to do that, so I'm going to leave it at that for now, and we'll experiment with it later. Now, test it out to make sure it works. Okay, so just as a reminder, image index needs, uh, the sub image needs to be set to image index. That's the variable that represents where we are in the animated sprite. It starts at zero, but because it's set to speed one, first cycle we add one to it. We go all the way to image, the last image in the index, and then we start over at zero again. Click OK. Now, to, sh to demonstrate this, I'm going to set this room up so it looks a little bit, uh, we can zoom in on it. Let me do that first, and then we'll go, I'll show you the rest. Hey, guys, look at this now. I've got my window. I've expanded it. I'm zoomed in on the game, so watch him animate as he goes left. He's animated while I'm going left. As soon as I stop, he stops walking. Now I'm going to have to add all of the code for my other movements. Now watch what I do here. This is pretty cool. I'm going to go to the object hero. We have left, up, right, and down. So these are already coded in. And on each of these, we've got the movement working. So all I have to do is copy this change sprite into the sprite, whatever hero it is. Watch what I do. I click copy, double click on up, right click in here and paste. Then all I need to do is change which sprite it is. Since this is up, I choose sprite hero up, click OK. I'm going to go into right, right click, paste, double click in here, change it so it's the hero sprite right. Click OK. And I do that for all of these. And that didn't take long at all. So sometimes work at the beginning uh, pays off in the end. So let's go ahead and test this one more time. Walking left, walks right, walks <coughs> up, walks down. He looks funny when he walks down, but there's not much I can do about it. And we go around our room, and we can test it out. Now, notice I've made this so I can't see everything. So I couldn't see that that was a dead end at first. So on my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. Limit the view in your room so you can't see everything. Okay, but we know that that works. I'll click OK. As a recap, just make sure you use key press. You change your sprite and you move. And on changing sprite, you got to choose an animated sprite with a sub image of image index and a speed of 1. Try experimenting with the speed and see what happens.
click OK, and there we go.